told you this was a real person. A woman uploaded a video of this creepy lifelike mannequin she noticed while shopping at a luxury brand store. Okay, people, tell me something. So this is a store in Paris, and this is a, a um, mannequin that they say they made this sh <laughs> and put this in the store. This boy look like somebody dead and bomb. Look at his hand. His hands is as real as mine. This is friggin' serious, I swear. If anybody have this guy missing... People pointed out that it looked an awful lot like a fashion designer who recently went missing after he accused that same brand of stealing his work. If anybody have this... So basically, Balenciaga invited this guy to a fashion show. And when they invited him to the show, he never made it back home. Right? That's um, what the article said. They said basically they unalive him and stole his design. He he complained to them about them stealing his design. They invited him to a show in Paris. And when they invited him to the show, this guy never made it back home. Guy missing, please. This is crazy. I've never seen anybody look so freaking real. How you have this man in another store sit on? Look. And this is what you call hiding in plain sight. So basically, they 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 stole they stole his design, and when they stole his design, they put him in the store, put him in his jacket, and let him rock the shit while he's like in his whatever form he's in. Well, he's pretty much dead, but that's Isaiah Bass. They stole his design, put him in a jacket, and put him in the store as a mannequin. Look at that shit. You see? It might be a coincidence, or something a lot more sinister what if i t that man was alive before he made it to the meeting and nobody's actually looking into why this guy didn't come back home what's his last location who did he communicate with um why um why they stole his design and all of a sudden he's missing like does that even make any sense how he went to a show and then he didn't come back home. What's his last, where does the tower ping his last location? Why nobody looking into that? I'm not saying they did or didn't, but I'm just saying he went to their show and never made it back home. What's his last no, no location? Who did he communicate with? Why is he alive? What's his whereabout? Why nobody's looking into that? Why whenever we die, nobody look into our shit whenever there's speculations around it? Nobody don't find this shit weird? I'm just saying.